hello, hello, and welcome to Train Simworld 5, the fifth in the Train Simworld series. Or, if I was going to be a bit facetious, Train Simworld 5. I've already said that, that's not what I meant to say. I meant to say Train 5 Simworld, 5 World Sim Train, or any of those other ways you can read that sign out that was meant to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> it backfired pretty quickly, so I'm going to click on continue and pretend like it never happened. How's that sound? Yeah, good? Alright. So, after a lot of faffing around, I've discovered that I'm on the free version of this game, which means all I have available is the tutorial and this bloke in the corner called Paul. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm going to be messing around with the tutorials, I think. So, without any further ado, let's crack on with it. Oh, Train Sim World 5 is out now, which is wonderful, because I thought I was playing it. Tip. There was no tip. The game's just looked at me and gone, wing it! So I will, game. I will. Hey, look at Steve! Steve! The list Steve! Of people who Steve! Work on the Steve! Oi! Steve! The Steve! And no, I think it was Phil. Smoothly. Phil! 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 I can't move my There's neck and my legs appear to have stopped working, so I can't walk over and harass it. Oh, oh, my neck has started working Let's again. Start Wonderful. I know it's been a while since I played it, but I don't remember Silent Hill having a training center in the middle of it anywhere. I, it's like that was modernized and everybody's just got the jobs training train drivers. I wonder if Pyramid Head's going to be the secretary. Should we go find out? Ooh, a map. After a quick I'm look around of this building, right. I can't Let's find anybody. <laughs> there's nobody in here. It's full of filing cabinets and boxes. And there's nobody in here because this is also full of filing cabinets and boxes. And on it, it says... That. Wonderful. Ooh, what's over here? What's in the reception? We have... Some folders. A coffee. Some computer screens with 3D modeling on it. <laughs> and some concept photography of the building that I believe we are in. <laughs> and a sister printer. Because, you know, brother printers, sister printers, they had to avoid copyright. It's a joke for all the printer nerds out there who are now looking at that and going, <laughs> That's funny, that is because sister's brother's there. <laughs> Ooh, a poster, what's on that? Cows. Wonderful! I found Steve! 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 Oi, Steve! You're ignoring me, Steve. You're doing that thing that people do where they stand still and see you at the corner of the line they're waiting for you to go away while pretending to be busy things, Steve. Steve! You've written loads of post-its that match up on the board, Steve. Look, call mum. Call mum. Or are you telling multiple people to call mum? Because in which case, I think you need to put names on those things so people know whose mums to call. Or are you calling people's mums? Oh, you're one of those people who go around calling people's mums because you threaten it to. What's on the green one? Oh. Okay. I'll let you off, Steve. The guy on the left has been bollocked by the guy on the right because he's always stood off at a 10 degree angle to whatever surface he's on. He's also been told off in mime because they haven't said it. Oh shit, they've seen me. Uh, act natural. <whistles> Hi Steve. Don't mind me. I, was, I wasn't peeping. I was, I was just walking straight past, alright? Oh, so he's going back to tell him off. He's like, you see that guy outside? Yeah, he can stand normal to the floor he's on. What you're doing? Weird, mate. It's weird. And he's doing it in that, but mimed, because everybody in Sil everybody in Silent Hill's Cockney, didn't you know that? Oh. I also appear to be defeated by the second floor of all buildings. It's a problem with train drivers, they have to live in bungalows, you know. And now to leave the building like the checkpoints have been trying to get me to do for the past five minutes or so. Well, I've nosed in on Steve and I can't leave. The doors will not open. Help! <laughs> God! Do I have to pretend I'm lost and wander off a little bit, then come back? Is that... I can see the gap! I can see the way to freedom! Alright, let's wander over here to locker room with no lockers in it. And then talk to the woman who ignored me at the top of the stairs. Still ignoring me. And it worked! The doors opened! So, we bastard walking and looking around. Now on to what sounds like the most boring part of the game. Screen elements and hood configurations. Where are the In other four trains module, gone? You'll learn about the on-screen overlay known as... Seriously, who hurt this guy? He sounds HUD. so sad. You'll see it when you're in control of a train. So after about 25 minutes, I'm finally boarding a train. And I think I used my mind to levitate onto it that time because it's <laughs> very similar again to merge onto this chair. It's just like a action. Because I've not seen an arm, a leg, a hair, anything. Oh, a telephone. Let's call Domino's. <laughs> we can just spin around like a, the girl out of Exorcist or I've got no neck bones or something. 
Right, now, You'll seriously, what do I have to press to make this train go? I want to drive something. Oh god, this guy is so boring! He just talks and talks and talks! Make him stop! Or at least give him a personality or his wife back! Which hostages do we need to pay to be freed for this man to have some form of energy in his voice? All I want to do As is drive the train and then eject the passengers at high speed so onto the railway by detaching the carts that are attached this to this bit. How do I do that? How? None of the buttons None that I've looked at so far have done anything. Moving a train part one. What does that involve? Oh, we're coming round, we're waking up, in we're facing the ceiling. Go, Maybe somebody knocked us out and placed this in a different train facing a different direction. Or is the driver we're currently so playing as, Paul, an alcoholic and he's just come round from his coma? <laughs> Either option is satisfying to me, but the second one seems far more likely and entertaining. I've been sat in this cabin for five minutes and the first prompt to do something has finally appeared on the screen. I am so excited. I have taken off the brakes. Or whatever that button was. It was H, so one of those. And why would we turn the headlights off? We it's clearly misty outside. Forwards. People so need to know we're coming. Oh, I put it position. in reverse. So, things have started happening, and now I've found the forward button. Now, now can I make the train go forwards? In the top left, no. the accelerometer why? shows you how fast your speed Oh, we are moving! We're moving! Way. There's an accelerometer! Where? It said top right. Oh, it's there! <laughs> I was about to look into the corner. No, 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 it's there on my screen. Oh, this is good. Oh, I'm driving! Power brake handle. I don't care! I want to go fast! I am in a train! Wait, what do we do? Do we have to coast and slow down forward and settle? And now it will just drift, apparently. Now, is, that, is, is it inertia that it's running on, or is there some sort of like self-drive engine that I'm not aware of? No, like... Light pedal assistance charges a battery that circles the wheels. Does this have a similar thing? Why does it keep telling me that the game I am currently playing is out now? <laughs> it's, just, it's just a silly little observation I've made and I love it. Anyway, passenger operations. And we regain in consciousness as somebody has removed us from the train. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look on the train through the blurry glass, which I think is meant to be wet. And... I mean, it looks alright. I mean, there's no armrests, which is a bit of a flaw. And the floor is very clean for a British train. And there is one massive problem. The third chair's going to the middle of the path. To the walkway. <laughs> what? <laughs> just, just don't put it on there if it don't fit. <laughs> oh, mate, we've got too many chairs. It's alright. It's alright. Just stick them in anyway. Anyway. I'm going to hide away in my cabin, because at least this all seems to scale. So I'm going to sit down, and now I have to make the train go forwards. I have forgotten how to make the train go forwards. This this is important. This is important. That has to do a thing. But I, it's uh, it's not doing anything. I can't, I can't move that. What have I... What? That... Do I have to do that first? No? Yes? It doesn't go any further along? Oh, crap. I should have been paying attention when the other guy was talking. Where has the voice in my head gone anyway? He hasn't said anything in a while. Or has he finally got onto the phone to his wife's hostage takers? Right, it's been about five minutes and I've got my first tutorial prompt. I need to stick something in there and twist it. Wonderful! I literally have pressed every button. I've probably done more damage guessing than I have actually just sticking a key in. There was no prompt in the tutorial before this to actually do any of this. Which is... Seems a bit weird. Maybe they should have started with this and skipped out that pre previous one and had this involved the two of them because that, that, that seems more logical to me. Call me insane, call me a radicalist, but we're eventually going to start to go forwards anyway, so why not to do all of this in one, you know? Just, just, you know, food for thought. After using various words and hand gestures that only an angry chimp will understand, I have finally got the train moving. <laughs> and as you can see, we are approaching the station. The other station. There's two, unless it's the same one. Uh, we are coming in quite hard, so I've just applied the emergency brake. You know, just slam those brakes on so all your passengers' teeth are knocked out by the metal bar in front of them. Uh, we are still... Quite, oh, we're quite, I was going to say coming in quite quickly, but the speed is starting to die off now, so that's good. And we have arrived! We're at the station! Woo! Yes, I know how to drive trains. How do I let the people out? 
Uh, is it one of these? Yeah, that one! You get that beeping sound! Okay, so I know how to drive trains and get people from one place to the other. I think I am now competent at this. Let's... Let's progress to the next tutorial, shall we? Oh, would you look at that! My session has become invalid for some reason. Anyway, yeah, no, 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 that's not what I meant. Uh, the uh, train thing. I found an extra bit of DLC that I hadn't finished downloading, and it's there now, so we can play it. London, Euston to Milton Keys. Not a massive journey, but it's a better journey than going around in big circles at a training centre. So let's have a crack at this and see what we can do. And what we can do is do Football Frenzy. I didn't see any description on this, but I, s I presume it's about travelling footballers or something like that. D there's words at the bottom of the screen, but the depressing voice has disappeared. Something, 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 fans, something, 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 train, something, 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 accessible. Okay, let's go. I can't walk. Uh, I've lost the ability to walk. Is the depressing voice on mute? And it don't stop. Ah, there we go. I have the ability to walk. The ability to walk. The ability to walk, but not jump over low fences. <laughs> Two things. I'm going to gush over that building in a minute, but I'm also going to mess with this lever because you can mess with anything. And I'm going to send a train the wrong way down a train line because I'm an evil genius. ha 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 ha. Second thing. You know, because the graphics of this game for building and stuff ain't great. It makes all the buildings look like the toys I used to have as a kid when I was making train sets with the ones that are worth hundreds and hundreds of pounds now. And if I'd have thought to keep them and sell them and all that sort of stuff, I'd be quite well off. But I'm not because I was a kid. I played with this stuff, sold it and broke it. That's what you did. <laughs> People pay thousands of pounds for them now. I mean, I could literally buy this skip and it'd still be cheaper <laughs> buying one of the train sets that I used to own. The world is a truly bonkers place, and I love it. <laughs> Either somebody's playing a nasty practical joke on people inside of there, or this is a dwarves only entrance, because <laughs> that door is shorter than that door. And that's a double door, and that's a single door, but they're pretty much the same width. I mean, oh, and also there seems to be a force field around this one, which I can't get past. Uh, I thought that the ghosts want me to go in there. Okay. Oh, 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 no, 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 no! I appear to have gone through some sort of portal. No, what the hell? So that ah, I don't like that. I wasn't expecting that. Why did that scare me? I, I think. Oh, oh, it's not looping. I thought it was looping. And there's a different door. There's a window behind me. Where's the door gone? No. Oh, I. I, I think I see what's going on. I think they've done a planet coaster and they've built a building and then they've attached that building to the back of another building to the back of another building to the back of another building. And it's meant to be a different height. That's meant to be like an outhouse of some sort. And they stick them together and because it's a non-collide collision item, you can walk straight through it. That's, that's what it is. <laughs> but my brain does not... It didn't like that. I've had my explore. I've had my free roam. I've got it out of my system for a little bit. So let's get on this packed train. Actually, this is a different train to the one with tutorial. I wonder if the uh, seats are still in the middle of the aisle. <laughs> let's go and have a look. And let's get on. Let's look left. Ah. You see, that's how a train should look. <laughs> and in we go. Realise we're in the wrong place. Close the doors. And head to the, uh, the, the place we're now going to designate as the front of the train. <laughs> Maximum speed, 110 miles an hour. Well, I cannot wait to do 110 miles an hour literally everywhere. <laughs> Uh, we need to go over there. How do I make it go over? Here we are. Make it go that way. Uh, that's it. And we will crawl slowly forwards. Can I hear an alarm already? Yes. Why can I hear an alarm already? What? 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 What's gone wrong? And edging forward to checkpoint number one. There is no football fans here. It's telling me to turn the throttle off. I don't, I don't understand why. Why? We're not at the station. The station's... Well, I don't know where the station is, but... This seems like I'm getting out. I don't see drivers getting out mid-thing. Driver's seat. Did we just go the wrong way? Okay, we're coming in a little fast. Uh, let's just slam on the emergency brake. We're not slowing down. Emergency? Press? Press? But still going quite fast, guys. Brace? Brace! Brace! Nailed it! <laughs> right, we are now coupled up to a train. 
It's either that or we are embedded in it. Either way, we are now attached. Right, I've got my achievement for walking a mile. I've walked a mile just going between three cabins. Train drivers get their steps in. All right, so let's sit down and just, oh, contact signaler. Proceed as signals indicate. The signals aren't indicating anything, so I'll assume that means we're good to go. Uh, what do I do? It's something to do with these levels. Oh, forwards. Nope, nope. <laughs> Bit too far. Forwards. And max power, because the station's just under a mile away. Everybody at that station is an angry football fan, and I need to get there quickly. Why am I not moving? Let's, let's think about this methodically. It's going dark, so finding the buttons is going to be hard, but... Let's, uh, the wipers are off. They're off. That button doesn't have a function. I don't know what that does. Don't know what that is. That is off. I've never pushed it, so it shouldn't be that. That button's glowing, but doesn't do anything. I don't know what that is. That looks like a microphone. That's the horn. <laughs> that didn't do anything. Ah, yes, let's have a look around the tray. Let's see if, um, it's something to do with, like, have I left a door open or something? Is there, is there a door that's open? I know what got on the train on one side, but... I think I shot it. Is it there? Is it there? No. Ah! Is it this? Will the train go now? Not even slightly. What have I done wrong? <laughs> right, I'm back in my cabin. I can't find anything wrong outside or anywhere else. So I'm just going to turn my lights on because it might be something to do with my lights. So turn that on, turn this one on to night lights, and now I appear to be going backwards. Why am I going backwards? What happens if I just take it to, and just stop and then back to front? You know, like, reprop the game. I am now stationary. I am going nowhere. That, I, I, <laughs> that feels like progress, but also slightly not. Okay, so I've decided it's not this cabin. It's got to be one of the other cabins that I've been in. Either the middle one or the one at the very back. So I'm just going to fly on down there. I'm just going to make sure all the settings in there are, like, allowing me to go the other direction. Because I, I can only imagine I've been tugged off by one of the other cabins. It's the only option I've got left. So let's just... Whoa, 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 so I went back, restarted that scenario, and tried again. It failed at the same point, but for different reasons that time. For some particular reason, the signaling failed and it said you failed. So I tried again, and the same thing happened. So I've given up, and now I'm here in free roam, trying to make this train go. Uh, this is an absolutely normal train, one you will always find on British rails. It's massive and I can't get it to work. <laughs> can't figure it out. It just won't go. So I, I'm giving up on this train, which is 150 meters long, and I'm going to spawn something else. Something that I, 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 <laughs> that I can drive. I don't want, I don't know what any of these things mean, by the way. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I, I, their names tell me something about them, but I don't know what uh, so I'm just going to spawn this. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to spawn that. Maybe let's, let's spawn something I can actually drive. Ah, oh, yes, this this looks more like it. Uh, hello, are you from Tron? <laughs> yeah, look, it's got a simple cabin, not too many buttons. It's going to be a couple of levers, and that's going to be about it. So let's get into the cabin. Excuse me, I appear to be having an accident. Yep, this cabin is really quite basic. There's some dials that don't do anything, and two sticks. The go stick, this one, which is not working. What have I forgot to do? Oh, yeah, stick it into forwards, like so. And now just wang it into full speed. And the engine sort of whirls up like some sort of angry battle droid. And we are moving, finally. <laughs> Let's just twiddle this knob in celebration of making the train move. Knob twiddled, was it worth it? I would say it is. I don't know what that is, so I'll leave it alone. Anyway, let's have a look around the cabin while we leave the station. Service failure. Signal passed at danger. Magnificent. <laughs> Where next, Bellin? <laughs> oh, yeah. I was checking the profanity filters on the naming, and apparently you call yourself Bellin. So now it's like the game is always angry at me, which, honestly, it feels like it is. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> it's not for everyone train driving. I've failed every single thing I've tried to do in this game. So I'm just getting the train home. So here I am, commuting my way home, 
with Agent 47's older brother. <laughs> I started a scenario and then just got on this train instead. And now I'm going this way. Uh, the game went, are you sure you want to do this? And I instantly clicked on yes. And I've got a lot further than what I would have if it was me driving the train, that's for sure. I've been removed from the cabin by Agent 47's older brother and told to sit down. So I'm going to sit next to this stranger. Awkwardly stare forward, so I'm sat next to a stranger. I don't know if he's going to stab me or sell me drugs. And wait for my station, never saying a word to anyone. <laughs> That's horrifically realistic. <laughs> and we pull up at my station. I get off and realize Agent Smith is waiting for me outside the door, so I've got to quickly run away. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> well, it, it was either Agent Smith or G-Man. So that was Train Simulator 5. It's a game about... Whoa, 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 ow! No, 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 make it stop! Make it stop! No, 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 stop! Ow! Ow! I just had a horrific accident. So that was Train Simulator 5. It's a game that actively hates me. So thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. If you've got any comments, leave them in the comments box. If you'd like to see me play anything else, do all that sort of stuff. If you've got any challenges or anything you want to see me do, please put them in the comments below. I'm also trying to do some more streaming. I'm trying to add on top of that. So if you have a look in my bio or whatever the descriptions are, there is a link to my Twitch and I'm trying to put more stuff on here. I do have a Discord set up if anybody's interested. And and all that, good, all that good stuff is in there. You can tell I've not rehearsed this. <laughs> Everything says if you want to promote yourself, you've got to put keywords and stuff in there. So I'll put it all in at the end. And honestly, I'm sure you'll be able to tell. It's pretty shit. But, but I have hope I'll get better. It can only get better, right? <laughs> all right. See you all later. Bye now. Welcome to the most important seat in the train.